Hi, everybody. It's Alan Lepofsky here from Constellation Research, and I am honored to be joined by the CEO of Zoom, Eric Yuan. Eric, hi. How are you today? Very good. Thank you. Thank you for having me. You're very welcome. You must be having a great week. You started the week with some huge news. Do you want to tell us about uh, this week's earlier announcement? Yeah, sure. So we, we partnered with uh, Sequoia Capital, and we raised the 100 million, and also we announced the Zoom 4.0 release. And we are very excited, you know, because uh, Secure Capital is this great venture capital firm. And the new board member, the car at Chinbuck, is very, very, you know, uh, respected world-class leader. And uh, we are very excited this week. So, so, so hold on. Sequoia Capital, that was one with two zeros after it. That was a $100 million funding round. Uh, you're right. Yeah, that's a pleasure <laughs> of that price. That's right. <laughs> Congratulations. That, that, that's quite the funding round. So for those of uh, the viewers that are out there that aren't you know, super familiar with what you guys do, talk to us for a minute about you know, Zoom's web conferencing service. And probably, I think you describe it as more than just a web conferencing service. Why don't you kind of tell us a little bit about Zoom? Yeah, sure. So conferencing just the one piece of the service we are doing because look at the big picture, you know, collaboration is becoming more and more important because all the business, they would like to improve the productivity. And that's why, you know, they invested heavily into the collaboration, you know, uh, uh, business. So in the case of Zoom, you know, we started from uh, a video conferencing. Essentially, if you look at the conferencing industry, the first generation is only conferencing. The second generation is the web conferencing. The new era is video conferencing, right? So all those solutions are there today. You know, pro, you know, very likely built like 15 years ago or even 20 years ago, like WebEx, right? And I wrote the code in 1998 and 1999 for WebEx. But today, you know, for the new problems, you cannot use the existing solutions. You know, to keep a customer happy, you got to build something from scratch. You know, that's why, you know, Zoom, we took a very different approach. We built a uh, solution from scratch, really focus on the customer experience, the product experience. That's why we never customer, no matter what kind of a solution they are using today, when they switch to Zoom, they will see, wow, that experience is different. You know, quality is good, ease of use, you know, quite a few unique features. And finally, you know, before they decided to, to buy, they say, wow, the price is only the 30 or 40 percent. That's why, you know, we got the attractions. Okay. Well, it's interesting is, you know, I cover this market, but I also obviously use these tools all day long. And one of the things I find interesting about Zoom is, well, yes, I can go to it as a destination. I can schedule a meeting and I can start meetings. More so, I'm seeing Zoom as sort of a white-labeled integration solution inside all sorts of other tools. I'm, I'm always amazed how many times throughout my day I click on a start meeting or a web conference, and you know, if you pay attention to the URL or something, it launches Zoom. But I think there's a lot of brands out there that are, are really taking advantage of integrating with you. I know innovation you know, has been kind of central to what you say you, wanting, you, you want to be doing. I heard you yesterday give a great talk sort of about artificial intelligence, which is obviously something my, my readers and viewers have been hearing me talk about. Uh, what's your thoughts on that? How, how does artificial intelligence play a role in web conferencing? I don't get it. Uh, that's a wonderful question. So if you look at the, the conferencing experience, right, it's quite often like, a, you know, this is a call, right? So after the meeting, you really want to understand, you know, how productive this meeting is, right? But normally after the meeting is over, the meeting is over, right? You know, you know, later on, you really do not know, right? And I think the one thing we are doing is how to deeply analyze the meeting. So meaning, see, like, uh, we can use a machine learning, right? Because we can record all the conversations. And after the meeting is over, we can, you know, analyze, hey, maybe I, I you know, uh, speak too much, right? Maybe just the one we talk, right? You know, or maybe you... You know, based on the, the, uh, the recorded data, we want to analyze you know, which word, you know, which sentence you, you use very frequently, right? And also for the future training purpose, like a sales course, right? Why one sales rep, they perform very well? Why another sales rep, they did not perform well? You know, we can record a session, analyze that, right? And overall, you know, after the meeting, we can give you the, the meeting healthy report based on the machine learning algorithm, right? That is one area. Another area is more like a speech voice command. You know, see like today in the conference room, the experience is really not good. Quite often you need to use a remote controller, 
to start a meeting, or maybe you have an IT person behind you to start a meeting. You know, why not just say, hey, Zoom, start a meeting. <laughs> so next so I, I talked to Siri, I talked to Google now, soon I'm going to be talking to Zoom. Is that the way it works? It already works very well because, you know, I, I heard my Achilles candy recently. Aww. When I walk into the conference room, it's really not that easy for me to walk into the middle of the table to press the button, you know, from our iPad controller. Nowadays, every time I walk into the conference room, I just say, hey, Zoom, start a meeting. <laughs> I like that. I think maybe a, a future generation, it's going to be proactive and it's going to see the CEO and it's just going to start the meeting without you even having to say anything. <laughs> Absolutely. You are right on. That's another thing we're also working on, meaning we can recognize, oh, that's a meeting scheduler. Walk into the conference room and even do not, you do not need to do anything. The meeting oh, wow. is automatically on. That's amazing because think about how many times you're on a meeting and people are either waiting for it to start or they're worried it's going to end and they have to figure out who was the organizer and pass control from one person to another. It's really interesting. Well, yes, the last course. question I want to ask you about is sort of this platform aspect of things. I mentioned earlier that I, I see Zoom integrated into a lot of spots. Uh, you're using the term, you know, video as a platform. Uh, do you want to tell us about what you're doing in that space and maybe how the, the new round of funding is going to help? Sure. So. If you look at a collaboration, right, the goal is to improve the, the business productivity, right? So how to integrate a video conferencing into the business workflow, that's very, very important, right? So quite often, you probably, you are using, say, like Outlook or maybe CRM, Salesforce, or maybe learning management system. You already stay within that context, right? For you to start a call, you know, you need to jump into the Zoom. I, I feel like that experience is not a frictionless. Why not? empower those business workflow applications with our platform. You know, with that, customers, they even do not feel like, oh, you are, you know, doing something and at the same time launch a call. They feel like this is end-to-end -end frictionless experience, yeah. you know, specifically in the mobile platform, right? You know, today you build a mobile app, you know, and from one app to another app, the switch is not a frictionless. Why not just give them our mobile SDK? We call that mobile RTC. Right, to empower a lot of mobile applications with our platform to empower their app with the voice, screen sharing, and video. I think that will completely change the, the business workflow applications. That's why we're so excited. We already got quite a few customers who are going to leverage our platform to empower their applications. Well, that, I think that seamless experience that you're thinking about is absolutely critical. You know, people have, have heard me talk for years about people don't go to work to collaborate. They go to work to do sales or marketing or engineering or finance. And being able to discuss one-on-one -on -one or chat or whatever it happens to be has to be part of that business experience, not part of something else. Well, exactly. Eric, yeah. Well, Eric, look, again, you know, congratulations, $100 million funding from Sequoia, the launch of Zoom 4 with a lot of new features. I, you know, people, after the, watching this, they should go off to, to the website, what is zoom.us, and, uh, and take a look at the conferencing service. We're using it right now, so I can honestly say it was, a, it was quite a simple experience. Um, congratulations, and, and thank you for joining us today, and we look forward to, to seeing what, what happens in 2017, and we all, we all hope your Achilles tendon gets better. <laughs> thank you, Alan, my pleasure. I appreciate okay. it for your time. Thank You're you. welcome. Have a great afternoon, and thank you for joining. You too, thank you. Bye, Eric. Bye.